I have to get just huddle around me brew. Keep my scarf on as well. I'm tempted to put it around me like a shawl. Right. Um, Should I do that? Right. Put it around me like a shawl. Nana's just getting a shawl on. <laughs> oh. Right. Oh, that's better. I love saying hello. <laughs> I know. We'll say hello. Hello, everybody, and welcome to podcast episode five. Ta da! And it is a fortnight since we did the last one, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. So, back on track. Woohoo! New Year's resolution. Yeah, this is our first episode of 2022, so it's going to be brand new, fresh themed, mm. fresh year themed episode. We've got a light up, we've gone professional, we've put yeah. a studio light up, I'll quickly show you it. Ta -da -da. I've had them for years. But you actually have, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, we say about five years? No, not that long, surely. I've had them for a lot, a lot of years. Mum's mm. gonna be back doing more podcast episodes, YouTube podcasts, catch up with the cars uh -huh. every two weeks. So this is um, us back, and then you'll see us in two weeks' time. Yeah, because it's always something to talk about. Let us know if you've got any um, topics for future episodes. If you'd like to see us discuss anything or any comments or just anything in general then leave it down below in the comments mm. i've just got back from work so um both of us had our first day back at work today and i'm not going in tomorrow or the day after either because um i can't be bothered to explain but i'm going in <laughs> next week so it's fine it's just that it's quieter at your place isn't it this time in mm -hmm. january is your quietest month yeah so they haven't quite got the work for you don't so. really need to be in all the time it's not a redundancy situation, I hope. No, no, no. It's just the way it is. It, it, it's farm work, isn't it? Farm and eighty. Yeah, with my so job, it's, it's seasonal. Yeah, it's very busy in the summer because that's when you harvest the crops. But in the winter, there's just not really hardly anything to do. Ouchy. So this year, we're talking about New Year beginnings. Mm. Someone, what's your plan for this year? What's my plan for this year? <laughs> so hopefully, have a bit more downtime. Last year was absolutely crazy been the busiest year of my life last year so we yeah J yeah yeah just try and get things a little bit more on an even keel because we well don't want to sound big-headed or anything but we bought two properties last year and um planning to live in one and then another one came along we ended up buying it as well so you should know the story now by now the other place is a holiday let the original one so we've been dealing getting that set up and dealing with that and it's going really well and also with the new house that we've bought, um, there's lots to do, isn't there? Oh, this house, like this, house, house. this oh, house. This house. Right. I was literally in. started thinking like, I was like, what the hell is the other house? Because <laughs> I knew about this one, obviously, but I, but the way one was wording it, yeah, it sounded like it wasn't word this it house. Right. Yeah, no, this this yeah, this is not a new house by any stretch, is it? This is from the 1930s, but yeah, it needs a bit of work doing to it. So that's taking time, and yeah. I'm washing a lot as well for the holiday let. I do all that myself, so yeah, just a bit more. I'm running about after Georgie and Tommy quite a lot, like travel-wise, because like after this, we're then going to Lincoln, aren't we? It's set nearly seven o'clock on a Wednesday night. I'm going to be paying for fuel though. Yeah, um, I mean, I I like driving, if I'm honest, but um, costing so much but money. But it's good practice. and throwing. So. It's good practice for me and my brother to be mm. able to practice driving yeah because Tommy's coming too you're driving to Lincoln and he's gonna drive back and we're actually um, Tommy's starving he's actually gonna drop in at McDonald's <gasps> you didn't know I I've already eaten. eaten my tea I've already eaten oh no she will still get <laughs> He'll get me something because I'm like, I'm nearly out of money. She's getting spoiled. I bought her a McDonald's like I did. a month or two ago. Yeah, three course meal, no less, <laughs> at Mackey's. It was delicious. <laughs> well, that's depressing. I literally made my food because I thought, oh, I'll save me making anything when I get home. Turns yeah. out we're off to McDonald's. Because I had a Mackey D's. No, I was surprised when Tommy, because I said, he said he was really hungry. And I said, well, we can always get a McDonald's when we're at Lincoln. And he's like, I actually might do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I thought, oh, oh, I think Tony's eaten anyway. Don't mind. Mm. Don't mind. Yeah. Not like I never go. Well, I mean, we don't have takeaways left, right, and centre here, do we? In this in the country. So, uh, whereas you've got like, you can have just eat yeah. at any time of the day or night. So, 
Yeah, but yeah. In, in where my parents live, that like if you go and just eat, there's zero restaurants. <laughs> you go and just eat where I live in Lincoln, there's a hundred and fifty summit restaurants open and available for order. Yeah. Yeah, because this year, my plan for this year is driving, passing my test. Well, hopefully, well before the end of the year. Oh yeah. Um, I'll keep you updated with my driving. Um, continue working around working. Also to put more effort into my skincare products and my social media. If you don't already know, I make and sell skincare products. So the link will be in the description if you wanna go and check that out. I see your scaling back your Facebook promotion of your products though. Oh yeah, I won't be posting as much on Facebook because I don't see the point in posting twice like the same thing on two different social medias. Yeah, but there's people out there who are only on Facebook and not Oh Instagram. yeah, but I will post still a little bit on Facebook, but That's just insane. not as much as I do on Instagram. Like, I'll post mm. when there's things to say. Yeah, okay, cool. But if you really want to know my plan for um, the new year, then check out my New Year's resolution video. Mm. Link in description. Do you actually link all these things in I, I have. I have been doing um, over the past sort of year because... Um, because it really annoys me when YouTubers say they're going to link something and then they don't. And I know that sometimes you have not I have done that in the, in the past. past. Yeah, yeah. Was last year a good year compared to others? Last year was a very un last year was a very unusual year for us in that we've lived in the same house for thirty years and finally we moved and we moved twice. So woo! So yeah, let's make life difficult for ourselves and we we moved. Without using removal firm, we just did it all lock, stock and barrel ourselves, so that was quite heavy going. Well done you guys. It was a lot to do. But yeah, it was a fantastic year really, because stressful, a lot of like late nights and stuff, but wow, what a result. Living in a fantastic house, really beautiful garden. What? A house tour will be linked in the description. Ah, yes, that's very successful on your channel, isn't it? I, once the serial killer bedroom's done, and you'll see on that house tour why we call it the serial killer mm -hmm. bedroom, um, you, Georgie can do another house tour showing it... Revamped. Revamped in its livable state. I'm not, it, don't get excited, because as you can probably see from the background here, it's not ultra modern. We've kept it in period, so... Yeah, yeah, but it, it's a comfortable home, and it's just the well, the garden's just fab, isn't it? I yeah, the garden's the, the garden. best part of it's the house. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, very, very thrilled. Although we've spent two months raking up leaves, <laughs> we've done our final one yesterday. It was absolutely backbreaking yesterday. There was so many. The oak tree decided to shed all its leaves right at the end of every every other tree. So. Uh, you know, all the other trees did theirs and then he decided to drop his and there were millions. In terms of my year, last year, um, it was probably, I would say last year was a pretty good year for me. Probably one of my best years. Mm. Um, because I think it's because I'm working where I'm working now and I enjoy it. Mm. Uh, which I which I wasn't expecting when I was younger. I thought that I would never want to have a job and work. I um, thought she'd never want to have a job and work because yeah. Georgie didn't speak when she was little, so I thought mm. she was always going to find it difficult to mix with people, but she's just taken to this job like a duck to water. And you basically got the job. I'm taking over talking again, aren't I? Mm. <laughs> Sorry! Can't help myself. But yeah, Tommy basically got the job, didn't he? And then put a word in for you, and then you managed to get a job yeah. there. So you didn't actually really go out and seek the job. If you was wondering why I don't speak when I was younger, it's because I had selective mutism. If you don't know what that is, then just research it. Again, do you, any more links in I, there? I have made a video. I, I won't link that video below, because I will make another one, an updated version at some point this year. Yeah, yeah, but that was a very successful video, wasn't it? I mean, mm. that was made by you, what? Or I don't know how long you've had your channel. It's, it's the only... most viewed video on my channel. I think it's got like 64,000 views. Yeah, and a lot. You still get comments now, I think, yeah. don't you? Yeah. yeah. There's so many people who have suffered from that too and thought that it was just them. Mm. Not at all. Not... <laughs> what are you most proudest of in life? Well, it's going to be a bit of a cliche of an answer, but it's you and Tommy, isn't it? <laughs> I'm enormously proud of them too. I really am. And I'm proud of your dad as well. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm very proud of the three of you. Yeah. I was once in a mock interview and the man asked me what my most proudest achievement is and most people would say something like quite significant or like I don't know big but my most proudest moment is like we've just discussed I had selective mutism when I was younger and in school obviously like I struggled but when it got to like GCSE time I was obviously like recovering and we had a speaking and listening exam in English which for somebody that has selective mutism and, and doesn't like speaking that would have been like impossible for me when I was younger and at that time I'd like recovered but obviously I was still anxious but I'd pretty much recovered from selective mutism. You could speak but it was still yeah. desperately awkward. Well I did my speaking and listening exam about selective mutism and about how I had it when I was younger and I had to speak fully for I think it was about five minutes straight about selective mutism recorded with my English teacher sat in front of me listening to me and I had to speak fully and then for 10 minutes after that she then asked me questions again recorded about it that I then had to answer like confidently with like no pauses or anything and she would then mark me this was also part of my grade as well she would mark me and everybody else in the class that did their own like different ones um based on like how well we spoke and like what we spoke about and everything and um when we all got our grades back i got full marks which was the highest in the class yeah boy. and this was the person who couldn't speak when she was younger and then she got full marks in the speaking and listening exam well great job georgie thank yeah, you great job thank you yeah. that's my most proudest moment yeah and quite rightly too that was fantastic yeah it was a big moment for us too we started doing highlight of the week. Yeah, what's your we? highlight of the week? What is my highlight of the week? Um, we're going highlight of the last fortnight, yeah? Okay, which is, we've just had um, Christmas and New Year. So Christmas, Boxing Day, Christmas Eve, that was all good. I loved New Year's Eve. But I'm a simple gal and one of the nicest bits for me was sat watching Shirley Valentine with Georgie's dad one night last week with, uh, with a glass of wine. It was lovely, really nice. Very fascinating. Sorry. But I know, <laughs> I know, but it was. It was just a very, very chilled, relaxed moment because we haven't had much time, just the two of us, lately. And that was just brilliant. I was watching Shirley Valentine, which we've not seen for a long time. And it's just a damn good film from our kind of era. So. Uh, very nice. What about you? My highlight of the week is playing Sims. Oh. Even though, the other day I was playing it for two hours and then I forgot to save it. So when I came back to it, all of those two hours of progress, my Sims character had even um, got a promotion at work and got double pay. That was gone. Oh. Back to the normal pay because I didn't save. Uh oh! And so how, there we go. How easy is it to replicate that? Because I, I don't do. I gaming. think that would happen again soon. Yeah. Okay. But, but still, two hours gone. Well, that's just double prizes, isn't it? That's called getting your money's worth. Sorry, I still can't believe that. I, no, this is just random. I still oh. can't believe that I ate pasta for tea because <laughs> I can't be bothered to cook anything when I get home. And some people are going to McDonald's. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> get yourself something from there you could get yourself an apple turnover or a, a mucky flurry or something true yeah you know it's not like you get yourself some cheese bites and a mcflurry i'll just get myself a meal anyway yeah sod it sod it i just know i'm just gonna want to flop out after after the mimac is and, and watch pole dog you know i've started all over again with that i've watched all series of pole dog and i watched the last episode last week and I've gone back to the beginning and I've started again. <laughs> how cool is that? No, how sad is that? <laughs> so, oh God, I'm a simple gal. <laughs> simple. Very simple. Yeah. So we should probably round this episode up on that note. Yeah. Got to get Tommy to McDonald's. Yes. Yeah. Let us know if you've got any requests for next 
next not next week next, next episode week. episode number six have you got any requests leave them yeah. down below uh, and probably the question is to shut the juice up yeah, <laughs> yeah. well that's not happening Sitting and listening to these two old birds rambling along Georgie's birthday in two days yes it is thank no, you where's my presents where are they three days sorry got the date wrong <laughs> yeah Georgie Georgie come yeah 22 Right, I'm gonna say goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, stay tuned for more videos. I've got a video coming on Monday and we're reviewing makeup in that video. So stay subscribed. And then Wednesday, we've got a what I eat in a day video. It's all kicking off. So yeah. When you say we're reviewing makeup, is that me too? Oh, no, I'm reviewing makeup. I was say, I know squat about makeup. Oh okay. yeah, oh my god, Mum should we should do a video with Mum where she reviews makeup. Oh god. She reviews her own makeup. Somebody who's not into makeup that much reviews makeup. Can do, because of yeah. We could do my top five favourite products and Mum's top five favourite products. Yeah, sure. Maybe that will be the next podcast episode if no one comments any requests. Comments and requests. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, Bye. let's get this show on the road. Let's get this head to Lincoln. Okay, there's no rest for Z Wicked. Bye. Bye.